Around the world, people who engage in reckless sex are considered <laughs> irresponsible or taboo, especially if they are women. Sex addiction is seen by many as a convenient excuse for moral weakness. But evidence is building that it is real and on the rise. People with sex addiction are called perverts or sleazy, or, you know, they're given the same set of names that people with drug and alcohol addiction were given 30 years ago when we didn't understand that. But I think as we understand the brain better, we understand neurological disorders, and we understand how people can use repetitive behaviors to soothe themselves, sex addiction will just be a no-brainer. For sex addicts, the hunt is often all-consuming. Throughout that whole process, there's a high. There's a neurochemical arousal that blocks out everything else. And so for Janice, you know, the idea that I can completely devote myself to the pursuit of this sexual conquest is a way to block out everything else in her life that might be upsetting or troubling or concerning. When she is in the hunt for that man, she doesn't have to worry about anything else in her life.